I used to think we had to give gas up, right? Uh, that we had the answer for green electricity. We could make it from the wind and the sun. We could put it into the grid and replace electricity from fossil fuels. But we had no answer for gas. We had to give it up. That all changed in 2010 when we brought green gas to Britain for the first time. It was made in a way that uh, had its own problems from either food waste or energy crops. So we went looking for a different way to make green gas. And we found that grass was the ideal fuel source. We put out a study in 2015 that said there's enough grassland in Britain to power all of our homes from green gas with massive benefits to the economy in terms of job creation, money saved from going up in smoke, literally, from imported gas being burned, all that kind of good stuff. It never really gained traction. So a few months ago, we asked Imperial College to revisit our work, to crunch the numbers around the number of homes in Britain, the amount of grassland in Britain, what it's being used for, what it could be used for, and what the benefits of a green gas, a national green gas program could be. And they've come up with some stunning answers, going even further than what we said in 2015. They've found that there's actually enough grassland in Britain to make enough gas, not just to power all of our homes, but to power industry as well. Incredible. It's great to finally be building one of our gas mills. Um, the first one in Reading will harness 3,000 acres of local land and it will make enough gas every year to power 4,000 local homes. And it will serve as the perfect example of what it is that we've been talking about all of these years and how actually we have the answer to the problem of decarbonizing the heating of our homes. And it's literally underneath our feet.